Good morning, and welcome to Flannel Hill Farm. Yesterday we went and took the first motorcycle ride of the season. It's actually, it was our first motorcycle ride in like 11 months. And it was fantastic. Because we're this far into the season, I don't know, Big K might make this an everyday ordeal. Which I would be fine with. But, back to the farm. Um, we have lots of cool things happening. We have melons like I showed you guys yesterday. Those are still here. I put some uh, fertilizer down, so I came out here real quick. So what happened was, I put fertilizer down to try to help, which all that fertilizer looks like it has soaked in, so that's good. Problem being, it's organic fertilizer, so I came out here real quick because I didn't want anything to have been attracted to the fertilizer and dug anything up. So, I was very nervous about that. Um, it looks like all of our, it looks like our zucchini is like going to town. Like I see a lot of little zucchinis growing, but I don't know. Not all of those could become big ones, but... We'll see what happens. Um, I'm learning from this that I am going to want more pollinator plants. Which, once I get, uh, once we get the orchard going, there will be pollinator plants right there. So, I think that will be part of the farm as it is, but then I think more pollinator plants would be a good idea. I think adding some marigolds around the edge of the garden is a good idea. So, there we have it. Yesterday I also sprayed for aphid eggs which is a spray of mild dish, dish detergent and water. So I did that. It looks like the aphid eggs are leaving or dying, but some of the damage may have already been done. We spread some in the pathways some diatomaceous earth that is I guess basically ground up seashells I guess I haven't done much research on diatomaceous earth but from what I understand diatomaceous earth is a white powder let me see if I can find some that hasn't been watered in you guys stay out of the bed right here it's a white powder that you can get and it comes in lots of different sizes. And make sure you do your own research. I will tell you if I know something. And I will tell you if I have not done my own research. So please make sure you do your own research. But from what I understand, you can get it in smaller bags or bigger bags. And it um, breaks down so like an ant walks through the diatomaceous earth that you've put down, it breaks down their exoskeleton and kills them. The positive is it's not like a poison. So it does the same for like some people, I guess. Again, I haven't heard this straight from a horse breeder's mouth or a horse racer's mouth or anything like that. But from what I understand, they will mix it in with like horse feed and the horses will eat it 
and it'll break down like any parasites or anything that they have. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a horse. I'm not giving it diatomaceous earth. But from what I understand, it's just like ground up seashells. So, hey. Hey. I has ball, you wanna play? Do you wanna play? Let's play this way. <laughs> we were at the, we went on the bike and we went to the grocery store last night just to pick up a couple of things that we could fit in the saddlebags. And Big K stopped in the little vestibule between the like outside doors and the inside doors. He was looking at chocolate lab puppies. I was like, would give me my fetch partner. KK is a good fetch partner for three quarters of the fetching you want to do. Right, KK? Then the border collie kicks in. Big, it happened to Big K last night. He's playing fetch with her. And all of a sudden he threw the ball. He was having a great time. And he threw the ball and she went probably 50 yards and turned around and just looked at him. And I was like, oh! He goes, well, the border collie's back. And I was like, yeah, we need a full-blooded lab. See, right here. I just threw it. And she'll just stand there or go off and now do something else. So, I don't know. So, we found a place to do spray foam insulation. We found, I gotta talk to Big K about that though because I think that I have a different opinion than he does. So, let me know if I'm crazy. Share this video with somebody else that knows more about this than I do. There's open cell and closed cell insulation. Now this hasn't been my thing. I've been the garden, the building of like the walls and the, the house itself. Big K has been the like insulation and that kind of stuff. So open cell insulation is like a spray foam, but it expands more and you need more in your walls. Like you gotta fill your walls with it for it to be as effective as closed cell. But closed cell is more rigid and you only fill part of the wall. Like from what I understand, it's only like two inches in the wall and three inches in the, the roof. So, but the closed cell becomes loud because like noise will bounce off because it's so hard. But I think down here, I think open cell would be slightly cheaper. So you, you guys are helping me with this because I, I gotta talk through this. So open cell would be slightly cheaper, fill the whole wall and not be as loud and acoustic-y. And closed cell You'd do less to get the same R value, but then you'd have to fill behind that with like bats of insulation. I think I'd rather just do open cell. I mean, then it's done and it's cheaper than the closed cell and the whole wall is done 
and you don't have to spend more. Because here's my thinking. Open sell, I am paying, let's say, four grand for all my insulation to make it easy. Closed sell, I'm paying six grand, but then I have to go back and spend more to put bats in. If I'm, if that's right, I just want open cell. Right? I mean, unless there's some like catastrophic downside. Huh. And then we were having trouble because we were going to do the zip system by Huber board, Huber wood. But we were having problems. We couldn't find the insulated green board. Apparently I saw a thing down here because they're not up north where they need extra insulation. But um, then we were trying to find the roof um, board. Apparently, that's not a thing either. When you're doing a metal roof, because what is the what does the board actually do? So Big K was actually talking to the wood lady or metal lady for metal roofing, and she was the one that broke that to him. I tried talking to him about it, and he thought I was crazy, so, but, so, a little bit of having to think about it, and the metal roofing was a lot less than I thought it was going to be, so, there it is. If anybody has ever built anything and has any ideas, please let me know. I will go over right now and do a walkthrough of what we got going on. And please leave it in the comments. Send this video to other people so that I can get more ideas and more comments. Please, 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 please. When this is your thing, you can kind of get laser focused. And I don't want that. I want to have all of my information in front of me and be able to make the best decision possible. So, <clears throat> first and foremost, this is a four inch, roughly, A four inch concrete slab home. I'm trying to wipe my shoes off. Okay, four inch concrete slab home. Over here, when you first walk in, let's do it properly. So you're gonna walk in probably over here ish. So you walk in from the front door and you're going to be in a great room. It's going to consist of a kitchen slash dining slash living room and the kitchen. So you'll probably walk into the living room or the dining room area. And then this pipe here, piping, Bless me. Oof. It has been, excuse me, it has been an allergy nightmare down here. So this island will come down here, probably, and then it'll go that way. And this L here, right here, is going to be a kitchen to the, this water, and then down here, all along here. 
That'll be a kitchen. And then what's gonna happen is that island is going to be pretty massive. So you'll have a living room and a dining room. And then my bedroom is over here. This will be my bedroom. This is my bathroom plumbing. What did he call it? My bathroom. I don't know, there's a plumbing term for this. This is my bathroom here. This is a shower. That's the shower drain. That is a sink inlet. And that is a toilet. This big one. And then my bedroom is here. And there will be a closet on this wall here. And there's gonna be two big, so far, three by six windows in this wall. Boom, boom. And one little, like, two by three window over here. Then, we're gonna have a door, three by six window, three by six window, um, wood stove here, three by six window, three by six window, three by six window. Then, Big K's bedroom, this will be a closet, and then his bedroom, and in his bedroom there will be a three by six window, three by six window, and a little two by three window. And then his bathroom, so his shower drain, sink, toilet, and then this will be a closet with a water heater. So, that's what I know. Um, we're doing those windows because they are the most accessible, they are the most general, standard window. Um, and then we're doing two by six walls. The idea is to insulate this thing so that maybe we don't have to use. So, as you can see, there's no HVAC in here. We are going to use some kind of mini split and the wood stove. So if you have ideas on mini splits, I think Big K was talking about Mr. Cool's and then he found something out about Mr. Cool and now he's not so sure. Again, that was not my, that wasn't my bailiwick. I haven't really been looking at that. So if you have any ideas. So that's the general layout of the house. There's going to be a back door back there on the other side of the kitchen. But the kitchen is going to be, where is it? The, there's the stove. And then a bunch of cabinets and then the refrigerator and then there's a full like floor to ceiling pantry thing I'm gonna build on the other side of the refrigerator and then it's washer dryer and then the sink and dishwasher are gonna go on the island and the water heater is gonna go in that closet next to Big K's room so that's it That's what I know. Bentley's been really into this concrete slab. Come here, buddy. Come on, monk. He's been sunbathing on it. How's it going? You like this? Okay, come on. Come on, let's not play on here. So I think we want to stain the concrete. Probably a brownish color. Um, but then after that, we are really just trying to figure it all out.
this thing's gonna be overbuilt. And then there'll be um, the drop down ladders for the attic. And there will be like storage up in the attic. So the, the, the pitch on the roof is gonna be like a 912 so that there's room in the attic. So that's what we're doing. If you have any ideas, any suggestions, please let me know. Please, please, please. I'll take all the help I can get, 100%. Come here, guys. 100%. All right, I think I've taken up enough of your morning. Have a good day. And on your way back down the hill, if you wouldn't mind liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting that little bell notification button, and please comment and let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything that you, anything you would do, anything you can think of, anything, anything, anything. All right, I really do appreciate y'all.